This is Joanne, and she's a collector of sorts. Over the last five years or so, she's amassed a menagerie of creatures that you wouldn't find very easily here in the UK. And over the next few weeks, I'm being allowed through the gates and into Joanne's weird world of wonderful animals. In a very special visit to Joanne's weird world of wonderful animals, we are being introduced to Kev. Kev is a big, fluffy ball of energy who loves nothing more than a bit of human interaction. Kev is unlike anything the UK wildlife has to offer, but he is much more common in Central and South America. Generally across the whole of South America, these things can live in warm climates and yeah. cold ones too. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people who have been to South America and they're, they're running around like we would feed squirrels yeah. and they'll come running up and taking people's picnics and things like that. Now, Kev, Kev is a pretty cheeky animal. We can see him poking through because he's after, I think, a treat. And this big snout on him, it moves almost independently, doesn't it? It's, yeah. I'm guessing he's got a great sense of smell. Yeah, definitely. He can, uh, he can smell a marshmallow from a mile away. <laughs> and that's his favourite, is it? That's his absolute favourite at the moment. Um, very rare treat for him, which mm. gets him very excited. Well, he's obviously a very energetic animal. We can just see by just taking a quick look at his um, room, his enclosure there. There's lots and lots of apparatus and things for him to swing off. And you said that you have to keep changing it up, so it's we interesting have to, for him. We have to keep him stimulated all the time, keep it changed. He sleeps up to four hours only a day. Really? So the rest of the day is on the go like this. Kev is about as big as a large house cat, making him the perfect size for a cuddle. Coaties like Kev have a raccoon-like ring tail, which is used mainly for communication and balance. Coaties are masters of movement. They're able to negotiate difficult paths and obstacles with ease. And thanks to their double-jointed ankles, they have no trouble leaping from tree to tree and launching head first onto the forest floor. Now, why, why is Kev so special? Why, why, he's the animal that people often remember when they come he and visit. He's the star of the show. Um, <laughs> his personality, when we go in with him and people see him, like you will in a minute, climbing all over our head, um, attention seeking, he's absolutely, but I think a lot of people have never seen them as well. Yeah. So, because um, you go to places like this and a lot of the animals are led down sleeping or you can see them in a corner, not Kev. He right. likes to let people know he's here. Definitely. In the wild, coaties would more likely be searching for insects, berries and smaller mammals rather than marshmallows. But whatever their environment, the coatie snout is incredibly useful. It's long and pig-like and partly the reason for its nickname, the long-nosed raccoon. The coatie snout is incredibly flexible. It can move up to 60 degrees in any direction, which means that it can wiggle around and push things out of the way in the hunt for tasty, creepy crawlies. Well, he's, we can hear that faint squeaking. That's him, isn't it? That's him calling. He's yeah. calling. He knows. He must um, want some attention. Yeah, attention and food. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, make sure we're not wearing anything that's going to get sh shredded to pieces. And uh, let's meet Kev. Take him in. Let's meet Kev. Right. Stay tuned to see what happens when me and Kev collide. Will it be a case of this Cody can't stand me or will it be a match made in Kevin? Find out in the furry finale of Joanne's Weird World of Wonderful Animals. today's visit to Joanne's weird world of wonderful animals, we are being introduced to Kev. Kev is a Cotimundi, an animal that can be found mostly in Central and Southern America. Their natural ability to negotiate a forest canopy means that Kev is great at swinging from tree to tree. This means that his enclosure needs enough bits and pieces to keep him busy and every now and again, Kev is treated to a human to swing from. And today, that human is me. I'm getting let in separately well, you can come in. because Kev likes to escape. Kev um, 
is very good at getting out of it. And we've been told that he might, he might go for the camera. So we're just going to gently introduce everyone to Kev. Do so. That's it. As long as you've got it. Come on then. There he is. Right, there he is. Straight for the door. Now, as Sam's going to demonstrate here, what Kev loves, loves to do the most is root through people's hair. Now, you're used to this, aren't you, Sam? Yeah. Because if you stand with your shoulder towards him, then he should climb on you. And he's, he's looking for mites and things like that? <laughs> yeah, I've been, he's grooming her, I would imagine. Yeah. Has he only found any creepy crawlies in your hair, Sam? <laughs> no, he hasn't. No, not so far, but uh, I think there might be a few in my hair. So let's see if we can convince, convince him to to come across. Hello, there he is. Oh my god, hello Kev. Joanne, this must be incredible to <laughs> live with an animal like this every day. Definitely, never in our wildest dreams would we think we'd come out every day and play with a Cody Monday. <laughs> Where did he come from? He came from Blackpool, believe it or he not. He did? Yeah, What's he doing in Blackpool? He, um, oh, he's going in. <laughs> He was um, advertised on the internet mm -hmm. and um, the lady just didn't have enough time to, to look after him. Obviously he needs lots of he attention. He does need a lot of attention. And lots of time yeah. spent with him. Hello. So um, she put him up for sale and decided we were absolutely perfect. Obviously we were out here all day every day with the public coming in. He gets lots of attention. <laughs> now if this was smell vision we noticed that Kev has a very distinctive aroma, would you say? Definitely. He smells rather like, um, you know, a special sort of illegal herb that people <laughs> tend to smoke sometimes, would you say? Yeah. Um, it's not too strong, it's not unpleasant, um, but he definitely has a smell. So, would you say, is that him spraying like, um, like a cat? He is a full male, so yeah, yeah it's just their scent to, to attract female coaties and things like that. Get off your girlfriend. No, no, he likes you. <laughs> there you go. He likes right. you. So what has he found? I don't know whether he's got a wire, but there's definitely something interesting. Look at that, he's gone for that as well. Look, you can see where he's really got his nose in because that's all wet now. So do you know what? <laughs> I sprayed myself with aftershave this morning. Yeah, Do you that reckon could that's be it. it. Um, they have got a very strong sense of smell. Yeah. And what we've discovered um, is that we grow herbs, yeah. like chives and things like that. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yep. We put bags of herbs in to stimulate them. So yeah. obviously your aftershave is very attractive. <laughs> well, Kev likes my aftershave. Well, Sam, I did put like it on to, to it? attract humans, <laughs> but instead my aftershave has in fact attracted a Koti Mundi. Now again, another animal that you probably would never experience other than in Joanne's world, world of wonderful animals, which again has been an incredible experience, so thank you for introducing okay. me to Kev. <laughs>